Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your July 2024 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and I'm keying into an energy of someone that's around you physically or energetically during the month of July. Sagittarius, this could be anyone that you have a relationship with, whether it's romantic or platonic, during the month of July. So let's, uh, let's tap into the energy here for Sagittarius' person of interest in the month of July. For some of you cross-watchers, this may resonate as a Sagittarian that you're dealing with, so please do keep that in mind. Sagittarius, let's see who's coming through for Sagittarius in the month of July. Sag, if you wouldn't mind pressing that thumbs up button for me, you know the drill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you for supporting me. I honestly couldn't do it without you, Sagas. Uh, that's that's the truth. Uh, you guys are the ones that are consistently uh, follow me, um, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you for continuing to support my channel. Sagittarius, let's look at your person of interest. And let's get their energy. Sagittarius's person of interest in the month of July. Please show Sagittarius the person that they are dealing with. Okay, this person's um, letting go, uh, surrendering to what is. Okay, and let's look at your energy here. Could be somebody you've had some conflict with here, Sag. Let's see, what's Sagittarius's energy? In the month of July. Oh, I like that. Bliss. Following your bliss. Following what uh, what makes you happy. And the connection between the two of you here, Sag. Let's see. What is the connection for Sagittarius? The Velvet Queen. Ooh. Ooh, I feel compelled to get this one too. Uh, some of you are having, um, this could be same-sex partnership, but more than that, I, I feel that it could be someone around you, friend, uh, family member. Uh, could be someone who's an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just someone who's very icy. Ooh, yeah, I'm getting icing, uh, an icy, someone who's somewhat... Um, well, I'd say emotionally unavailable would probably be <laughs> um, putting it mildly, but let's have a look here. The Velvet Queen. You are a rare person, a rare, rare prize, a rare gem. And it's like the universe is coming in here, Sagittarius, with confirmation. With confirmation. And you're being nurtured into manifesting whatever it is that you uh, have in your mind, a goal. So given a, uh, given a save, an intervention, a way out. So be open to receive, surrender doubt in favor of unconditional trust. Through your trust, your optimism, you can make it easier for the universe to give you a deserved gift. Ooh, okay. You're receiving a gift. Something that you may not initially see as a gift is actually a gift. Okay. King of Wands in reverse. Whew. Anger, aggression. I feel that that's come from a number of people around you. Some of you have been dealing with another fire sign like it as yourself. But more than that, I just feel like it's some kind of aggressive energy that has been around you here, Sag, in the past. Seven of Coins in reverse. I do feel that, that Sagittarius, you've kind of lost your shit here a little bit, possibly with someone around you. It's like you've, you've given up on finding love. You've given up on people around you. You're kind of doing your own thing. Yeah. Okay. We do have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Mm. Oh, that's this energy here. It, it does feel like somebody kind of... I don't know who this person is, but I'm getting someone who can be quite malevolent. 
Now, what does that mean? I, I get that this person is, is, is knows what they're doing, uh, very smart, very intelligent, bright individual, and can be quite malicious, uh, can come in with words that cut with harm. Hmm. And then we've got the three of coins in the reverse. And then coming in here in the mixed is a third energy, which on the face of it appears disruptive. And I don't feel that this, this energy, this person here, is liking this this energy. They may be meddling between you and a... Uh, well, they may have all... I'm getting a message for some of my Sagittarius. This person may have always meddled with your romantic partnerships. They may just not like who you uh, who likes you mm. quite a possessive controlling type of person the strength here is the ten of cups this person could be family um, a very strong connection with family here that i feel this person is or there's someone who in your soul tribe and uh, the weakness here is the six of wands well that's i feel that this person has weakened you or has tried to weaken you in the past uh, hasn't allowed you to uh, to be your best self may not have been uh, supportive uh, may has may have actually hindered your success here sagittarius in the past six of swords yeah I feel that this person, you want to. I feel like you want to get away from this. You want to free yourself from this. You you see yourself uh, as someone who wants to get away from any kind of conflict. You just don't want any kind of conflict. You you want there to be harmony in your life. You want there to be peace. And we have the the judgment card here judgment I feel that this that this is this person avoiding this person's judgment avoiding this person's judgment the goal here is justice oh, gosh yeah well it's like this person's is the law or something I don't feel it's actual law but I feel like they think they're the law they could be a Libra but they don't have to be. I get uh, just a very judgmental uh, person. <sighs> and we've got the, um, the Wheel of Fortune. This person is not wanting there to be change. Uh, they don't want to see you have good luck. They don't want to see you succeed. Oh dear, who is this person, Sag? In your environment, we've got the Five of Coins. This, this, the reality is that this person doesn't want to be left out. They, they don't want to be abandoned by you. They, uh, they fear uh, loss. They, they want to keep you around, uh, Sagittarius, and so they. They do things to complicate, uh, they meddle, they gossip, uh, they flat out do things that are disruptive around your, your partnerships. Other people, we've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I think you want to free yourself to be with other people. For some of you, you've had a series of people that have been like this. Uh, you may have had friends in the past that were very controlling that didn't want you to uh, to be with anyone other than them you may have had romantic partnerships that are all like that i get you being um, controlled by a, a number of people and it may have even started with uh, with parents with siblings uh, people just wanting to see you Wanting to keep you on their level, not wanting you to rise above, not wanting to see you reach your full potential. Gosh. Hindrances. Yeah, they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you hanging there. We've got the hanged man, Sagittarius. And what's hidden is temperance in reverse. Hmm. Well, now yeah, on the surface of it, I, I feel that this person... 
is trying to create like everything is fine with them everything is is cool but underneath it i feel that this person has massive abandonment issues that um that make this person emotionally fragile uh, unstable and it can come out as aggression or control okay and then we have the nine of wands so you're having to deal with this person that's around you i think that you're you do have a gift coming in here with this wheel of fortune it's a gift it's something that is good news a positive development in the month of july but i feel that this person wants you to it's doing everything they can to avoid you uh, having something good in your life it's like misery wants company right i feel that this person's quite miserable they're not happy in their own life and so they want you uh, to be just the same and that one just came falling on the floor here guys so just give me one second while i catch that card oh sagittarius the velvet queen this wheel of fortune that's coming in is a gift it's a positive development uh, i want to read that card actually i'm going to read it from the book this is the divine circus oracle cards by alana fairchild number 25 yeah i feel that you've been at a crossroads you uh making a choice i feel like you're you're on the verge of reaching your full potential but first there is this blockage that needs to be contend with contended with a rare prize is worth the effort to attain it oh yeah i get you are quite rare uh, you are seen as a prize you are seen as you are prized when it comes to people around you and i get there's a number of people who want you want to be around you but it's a challenge to get to you because possibly there is this block here uh some someone in the way something blocking your wheel of fortune from moving forward a rare prize is worth the effort to attain it okay we've got loving discipline here yeah i feel i feel that you're loved by many but the discipline aspect of it is is a harsh thing like people saying that they they love you they know what's best for you sagittarius but i feel it's more about what's best for them than what's best for you you know loving discipline isn't about trying to bend the world according to someone's will but i feel like this person is trying to bend make things work out a certain way that will benefit them but I feel that you're readying yourself to align with the spirit of what you want to receive, not what is best for people around you, but what is best for you. And I think that this person needs to let go, surrender to what is best for you, rather than what they what, what they feel is best for them, Sag. To receive, rather than attempt to take by force. Yeah this is this is this possessive controlling energy yeah, there's strength here but the strength is is negative strength yeah you're gonna have to have courage to to deal with this you're gonna have to see through um, what others may do to attempt to control you here sag yeah it, it's it's not about you being weak here sagittarius and just letting someone kind of steamroll you into, into doing something that you know is not best for you but is best for them and i think that that has happened in the past but you're not let, you're not letting that happen anymore sag there's empowerment here yeah and i think sagittarius what you've done you know, I was getting that energy right at the beginning of you know you giving up on love. You know, letting letting the wheel turn as it will, uh, dealing with a lot of stress, um, challenges in in your life over the last few years, and surrendering to it. You know, dealing with it, uh, letting it take, letting it run its course because you know that 
when you're down eventually things will be up again well it feels like you're you're on the verge of their there being an, an upward cycle in your life um, positive change fortunate change and the universe is working to do its best work for you it's not about being passive but I think what you've done here is trust to let go and allow the outcome to be what it will and I think that you have done that Sagittarius but what this person or these people around you need to do is the same you know? they need to do it as well they need to do it as well there can't be this energy of trying to control the outcome of a situation for the for, for a benefit there has to be this release this surrender to what is and I feel I feel Sagittarius that that's what you that's what you're doing but it, it's it's not that kind of weak kind of energy of oh well, I'm just gonna let life happen to me it's not that it's hard to describe you know it, it's it's not an inactive energy you know it, it's recognizing that you do what you can and then you have to let it go you know you can only control so much and then you have to let it go and it will be what it will be at that point I hope that that's making sense it's not about giving up it's about trusting that there is a great and generous intelligence expressing itself through our lives and if we're open to it great treasures this gift is bestowed upon us so the discipline here is about changing your consciousness asking you to release issues around uh, things that you you can't control you know you're being empowered here and assisted by the universe to create a life that fills you with joy and feels just right for you yeah so release any feelings of lack release any feelings that this isn't going to happen for you this velvet queen energy is coming through to assist in shifting the mind from that scarcity mindset to one of the prosperity consciousness with this wheel of fortune where we feel we can receive precious gifts with an easy open attitude not holding on to them out of fear nor pushing them away out of shame or guilt so when this card enters your life it's bringing a sign of abundance headed your way oh i love that sag it might manifest itself in many and varied ways it could be financial wealth could be a career opportunity increased love and affection in your relationships or as a sense of living in the rich fullness of life spiritually as well as emotionally and materially she also indicates a prize that is worth attaining and I feel that that's you I think that you're you're someone here who is worth attaining uh, you are that prize here and I think that you have to see rather than see yourself as someone who has been shamed uh, guilted uh, there's something here that you need to look at a different way and I think that for a lot of you you may have been dealing with people who treated you really unfairly may have even tried to um, I, I get to uh, make you feel like you were you were less than you know wanted to keep you in that poverty mindset that's not where you need to be and i think that you know that uh, the the sweetest fruit is at the top of the tree and it's it's worth the challenge it's worth the climb so don't 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 see yourself as low-hanging fruit here <laughs> sad you are not low-hanging fruit you 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 might be um you might be someone here who is not the easiest person to attain right now not the easiest person to to get to know perhaps uh, you may be someone who is just again I get this rare prize this rare gift 
So see yourself as that, you know, rather than uh, as like this low hanging fruit kind of energy. See yourself at the top of that tree and worth every climb that anyone has to uh, to do to to uh, to be with you. And I think for a lot of you, because you're letting life unfold as it will, and you know, consciously disciplining yourself to make efforts uh, towards that goal, whatever it might be, whether it's, it's you're choosing to focus on love right now or you're choosing to focus on your career or increasing your money. Spirit is saying, don't give up. Don't give up. You have to make a conscious, disciplined effort to, uh, to put in the effort and energy towards attaining this goal. And if that's all you need to do because I feel spirit will come in with the with the rest of the energy but you have to put in the energy first hope that makes sense guys so don't give up on whatever that goal is but what you can't control here is when it will happen but you can certainly do your part to be ready when it when that success does come in and then while there is someone here around you is trying to thwart that if you can see that, be consciously aware of it, and you, you'll be able to deal with that. You know, you, you'll, you'll succeed in spite of <laughs> any kind of energy here, you know, that, that may come in and, and, and suggest that you're not worthy or you can't do something or that's not for you. Okay, Sag? All right, now, what would this person want to say to my Sagittarius spirit? What would this person want to say to my Sag? Yeah, interference. I feel that this person is interfering with a love life or someone around you. Could be a karmic partner, of course. What else, Spirit? What else does Sag need to know? Making your way out. Yeah, a way out. A way out. And I feel that there is someone around you. Oh, I get a, I get a number of people here, Sash. Not not just one. I get a number of people who are interested in you. Now I get I get one. I get one here who may have um, children and is only staying in that because of they have children. I'm also getting. Uh, that there is an ex of yours who uh, misses you uh, a great deal. That's someone who you have been intimate with. Uh, there's there's another person who you haven't been intimate with but would like to. I feel that they're on, on your path. So you've got one person here in the past. I've got one person here in the future. Uh, there may even be other people here, Sag. Let's see. Yeah, this isn't over unfinished business I get a number of people around you who have unfinished business hmm, Sag. yeah I think you're gonna have to be discerning when when these energies come towards you and just be aware that there may be somebody here who's trying to block all of these people <laughs> uh, you'll make the right choice that's best for you uh, um, remember don't see yourself as you, you are by far uh, the, the the high fruit here the the prize the rare the rare gift the rare gems so anyone would be lucky to have you Sagittarius really and I see you and I see a lot of people wanting a second chance here uh, with you Sagittarius now this this other person this block this uh, I get it as a feminine energy let's see what is this person here uh, it could be someone who's unhealthy uh, mentally emotionally uh, perhaps even physically unwell uh, they constantly they, they may actually uh, play up their how sick they are uh, to keep you around here Sag um, possibly this person doesn't want you to move move on um, okay and caution yeah I think that there's somebody there uh, that wants to keep you stuck I get someone very possessive and controlling um, 
um, like the wicked stepmother, <laughs> a little bit like that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for you, Serge, and wish you all the very best with this. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I wish you all the very best, Serge, and bye for now.